So to become a state-worthy trap team, um, it takes a lot of practice, a lot of determination. Um, focus is a big thing. Uh, traps, a lot of mental game. Um, it's probably 70% mental, 30% actually what you're doing. Um, it's a lot, really easy to lose focus. Um, when you're shooting with the team, it's the same thing every time, so you get into a rhythm. So that makes it a little bit easier. Win a state for the kids. Um, it was great. Even if I wouldn't have had two kids on the team, but even having Allie and Andrew on the team, you know, what chance are they ever going to get to do this again as brother and sister on the same team, same year, win states overall. It's just great to see everybody do well. Two kids on the team, it was even better. So winning state was an amazing experience. You just had all this adrenaline flowing through you thinking, this is what we've been practicing for for the past year, and this is what these past three years have been leading up to. So you're just full of adrenaline thinking, we finally did it, this is awesome. And then to find out you're going to nationals, even better. You're just, you're hyped, everyone's shaking each other's hands, and just, it, it was great. I'd like to thank the kids for getting everything together at state to win that. Nationals, these eight young kids and their parents gave two old people a hell of a ride. It was great. Nationals is way different than state. There's some kids there that are really good. I think the top three kids all got 200 straights, which is absolutely insane to me. I got a 196 out of 200, and that got me 88th place. So that, I, I just, it blew my mind. With how many people were there too, that just had to look for that sport. Like you could walk, you could walk up to someone and just say a simple hi. You'd have a 10 minute long conversation about life and all of that. I enjoyed it quite a bit. It was a new experience and I'm glad I got to go. What I'm gonna remember from this year um, is probably I like all the teamwork, um, shooting with some of my good friends. Um, all four of us made it to nationals, so that was a good uh, team bonding thing. Probably just like all the fun, all the jokes we did. Um, yeah, just the harmless little pranks we played and uh, setting one of the coaches alarm clocks for every five minutes, um, like 6.30 in the morning. Um, and just like the little, the little fun that we had um, throughout the whole trip. Being the only female on the trap shooting team, um, it's been it's been fun. You get to hang out with a lot of guys and you get to go around, so they're kind of like your personal bodyguards, but yet they're still fun to hang around with. They're just a good bunch of kids. Parents, this is a club where the parents are a big asset to us. I love the ones that don't want their kid to shoot. The kid will come and beg to shoot, and once they get them on board and see how safe this sport is, they can't do enough for us. The community's been super. We had big donations from the booster up here, big donations from individuals. We had two people step up that don't want to be mentioned and they paid for the shells that went to nationals this year for us. We had a few leaders on the team, especially my brother, Andrew. Um, he, we always looked up to him, even if he was having a stressful day, we would always pull him up and we'd always be happy and having fun. And, um, if one of us on the team were struggling, he would, Andrew would always come over and help us. And um, There was multiple people on the team that would just bring each other up and we were always talking and having fun and you never really saw us not smiling and laughing because we always had so much fun on the shoots. Trap is a five person team sport. Um, we all line up on the line and then we shoot at this little orange clay pigeon. Everyone we get counts, as, counts towards our score and everyone we miss doesn't. So as a team, we'll shoot 250 of them total, and then our score will be based off of that. Trap is a great sport that not many people know about. Like, you'll go from shooting your dad's little 22 when you're five to when you're in high school shooting 12 gauges out here every day, and it's just awesome how you can just do that. I mean, it's not like any other sport. You'd never sit on a bench. Everyone always participates, everyone always shoots. And that's what's great about it. It helps a lot if they have some hand and eye coordination um, and we can stand behind them and watch them. We can tell them if they're behind them, under them, over them, um, in front of them. And then we can tell them, well, you're leaning back, so that throws you off balance. Lean forward, 
raise your elbow and there's, there's just hordes of things that we tell them and it all seems to come together because once they try it, they start shooting better scores, they're more willing to listen and learn from us. To get these kids to shoot better, we use one particular coach, Tom. If they're not listening, he grabs a rock and throws it at them. At least we scare them that way. We stand beside them, tell them what they're doing, we tweak them a little bit, and learn to, when that gun hits your shoulder to lock out everything else and concentrate. If you're hearing a guy beside you, you're not concentrating. You gotta split, concentrate, and yeah. pull that trigger. In my opinion, this is a rather rapid growing sport because you don't have to be the Hercules type individual that can go out and take down three, four guys on a football line. You don't have to be the fastest guy on a track team. All you've got to do is have some hand-eye coordination, be willing to listen, take some advice from some of the coaches, and most generally, we can get them to where they're pretty successful at it. Probably the biggest thing that I can say that I have seen is uh, about four years ago, we had a gal come out. Her first actual legitimate round of trap that she shot was a score of 50. She broke three targets, came off there crying. I told her don't give up because I don't give up and before long we had her to where she lettered which required that she shoot 323s in the course of the season and she did it and she did it at the state shoot. So you can convince them that they're pretty good shooters and they will succeed. Just a big thanks to all the coaches, Larry Johnson, Tom Beyer, Calvin Thayer, uh, Larry Clark, Steve Abin. Um, just thank you guys, we wouldn't be here without you.